Hey guys, Dreadmark Goods here, and today we're going to go ahead and take a look at this really interesting pair of candle holders that I found, and they're made by Gorham. They got the, the stamp GM Call on them. The fish indicates manufactured in 1912. Now they're quite unique in that they appear to be sort of Greek influenced. You kind of got the classical, I guess, like the Greek column you would have seen in those temples. I don't know, Parthenon. Now, this is what kind of bugs me is that I can't seem to find any other pieces that are exactly like this in order to get a price comp. And that's, that's the funny thing about silver plates is that sometimes you find some really rare pieces that, that you don't know how to price. And that doesn't necessarily mean that that makes them more valuable, as weird as that sounds. Like, the more obscure and rare silver plate is, sometimes it's harder to find a buyer. Because people who want silver plate are often... They're trying to... Let's say, replace some of the pieces that their grandmother has in... For the family heirloom. Well, grandma probably didn't have this, but she might have had you know, the Omega pattern, Patrician, you know, or Queen Bess too. She had a flatware set, and so grandma, Grandma's forks are bent, so people buy the forks. But this, however, is very rare. There was one single column that was sold for more than $100. I can't remember exactly how much, but I thought that was insane that there was only one one sold piece it wasn't even in the pair and it went for over a hundred now does that make these candle holders worth twice as much as that single sold listing and that's the market value for it i guess if you sell a house for a million dollars then the market for houses in that area becomes a million dollars is it the same kind of thing with these candle holders? I don't know. The price is whatever I'm willing to take for it and whatever someone is willing to pay me for it, which makes it kind of difficult. But yeah, these are very cool candle holders. I definitely would like to sell them because I need to keep, uh, I need to keep some currency inflowing so I can continue to, to receive more plate and make more videos and find more sterling silver. It just never, the grind never stops. All right, so that's it for today's video, guys. Good Marks Goods out.